John William Finn was born in Compton, California on July 24, 1909. He joined the Navy in 1926 prior to his 17th birthday and attended recruit training at Naval Training Center, San Diego. After completing recruit training, he went to Naval Station Great Lakes for general aviation utilities training in 1927. Upon completion of his schools at Great Lakes, he was stationed at Naval Air Station North Island, where he worked as an aviation ordnance man. It turned out that John Finn and the Navy were a perfect match, and he quickly advanced through the ranks and was promoted to chief in 1935. On the morning of December 7, 1941, Chief Finn was at his home, which was about a mile from his duty station at Kaneohe Bay Naval Air Station in Hawaii. Alerted by a neighbor about the Japanese attack, Chief Finn quickly made his way to the base. He quickly set up a 50 caliber machine gun to engage the attacking Japanese aircraft. His firing position was in an open area, which gave him a clean line of sight of the incoming Japanese planes, but also meant he was completely exposed to enemy fire. For the next two hours, Chief Finn maintained a steady rate of fire on the attacking Japanese planes, despite receiving 21 wounds, which included a bullet through his left arm, Chief Finn continued to fire the 50 caliber machine gun. The attacking planes were coming in so low that Finn recalled that he could even see the pilots' faces as they flew past. It was only by specific orders that he was persuaded to leave his post to seek medical attention. Following first aid treatment, although obviously suffering much pain and moving with great difficulty, he returned to the squadron area and actively supervised the rearming of returning planes. For his actions on December 7, 1941, Chief Finn received the Medal of Honor from Admiral Chester Nimitz during a ceremony aboard mm -hmm. the aircraft carrier USS Enterprise on September 14, 1942. Chief Finn continued to serve in the Navy during World War II and later received a commission as an ensign. He served as a limited duty officer on the aircraft carrier USS Hancock with Bombing Squadron 102. John Finn retired from the Navy in 1956 at the rank of lieutenant. He passed away on May 27, 2010 at the age of 100. To this day, he is the only aviation ordnance man in the Navy to receive the Medal of Honor.